Now, there is no question the pandemic impacted our kids, but as WBZ's John Keller shows us this evening, a new poll suggests a disconnect between parents and schools over how much. Nearly halfway through the school year, a new statewide poll shows despite all of our pandemic struggles, most public school parents are satisfied with how their kids are doing, according to pollster Steve Cozella of Mass Inc. We found parents giving their schools pretty positive grades overall. We're just not seeing accurate communication. But to Kerry Rodriguez of Woburn, president of the National Parents Union, the poll suggests many parents are in the dark about what's happening. When asked what they've been told about their students' academic performance, majorities in the poll say they see report card grades and talk with or get notes from a teacher. But less than half see the results of diagnostic tests, and barely one-fifth of parents say they get their child's MCAS test results. But if you're getting a report card that says your kid's getting A's and B's, you, you assume your kid doesn't need tutoring, your kid's all right, where that might just be the kid that needs tutoring more than anybody else in the class. When pollsters asked if their child has been offered extra academic help this year, just 43% of parents surveyed said yes, compared with 53% who said it was never offered. The parents, by and large, don't grasp it, the full extent of the issue that's facing us here in Massachusetts. Meanwhile, the MCAS, which measures your child's proficiency in key skills, compared with all other students, are once again under fire from teacher unions who want them phased out. But Rodriguez says the MCAS should stay. And we want more data, not less. Massachusetts is known for quality education. We know that Beacon Hill is investing $1.5 billion in new funding for public schools. I mean, could that fix these problems? Well, yes, Lisa, but only if these long-awaited new resources produce results that are measured in a way that all parties can be confident right. in. Nobody claims, for instance, the MCAS is a perfect instrument no. or, or that it isn't a pain sometimes for teachers to cope with. But supporters argue it provides baseline accountability for students and teachers that's crucial to deciding where all that money should go. Uh, and finding our way out of the valley of pandemic learning loss is going to take some consensus about what's working and what isn't. Some consensus and certainly some time, unfortunately, too. Yeah, amen. John, thank you.